If you only have one pot and you want to make a delicious stew, then look no further because this chicken and chorizo stew might just tempt you. It's bursting with flavor, really easy to make, and you can batch cook it for a few meals. This is my mother's recipe, so you know it's got to be good. Let's get to it. First, our list of ingredients, 200 grams of new potatoes, one red onion, two cloves of garlic, a splash of red wine vinegar, tablespoon of tomato puree, one tin of butter beans, two tins of plum tomatoes, about 150 grams of chorizo sausage, 500 grams of chicken thighs, 500 mils of chicken stock, a few sprigs of fresh thyme, smoked paprika, dried oregano, two bay leaves, and a pinch of white sugar. First, we're gonna prepare the base of the stew, starting with the red onion. Slice it in half, slice the top and tail, remove the skin, and dice. There's no need to finely dice, as the onion will give some texture in the stew. Next is the garlic. Always remove the root and smash with the back of a knife. The skin will come off easily. You can finely dice the garlic like I'm doing, or push it through a garlic press, whatever works for you. Half and quarter the new potatoes. Make sure all the potatoes are cut to similar size so that they cook evenly in the stew. Now there's a common theme developing here and that's to dice most of the ingredients. This is what's so great about stews. It's a simple process. All you need is to layer up those flavors. I use bone-in skin-on chicken thighs. Run a sharp knife close to the bone on both sides. Get the knife under the bone and slice up to the small joint. Then scrape away the meat from the bone and slice at the base of the large joint. Remove the skin and dice. If you're using boneless and skinless chicken thighs, then just dice it accordingly. And then we're gonna season with salt and pepper. Now we've got the base of the stew ready. Get your pot on a high heat and add the chorizo sausage. Cook it down for a couple minutes. The paprika oil will start to seep out of the chorizo. And then it's time to add the onions. Fry those off for another few minutes, enough to slightly soften them. And then turn the heat down to medium and add the garlic followed by the fresh thyme and smoked paprika. Stir these up for a few minutes, make sure to not burn the garlic, and this is where the aromatics will release and it's gonna smell amazing. Add a tablespoon of tomato puree, make sure to cook this down for a few minutes before we add the chicken thighs. The chicken is gonna poach in the stew, so we're not gonna brown it at this point. Now for the liquid part of the stew, we're going to add two tins of plum tomatoes. You can break them down in the pot. Then add your chicken stock. If you have a homemade chicken stock, that's great, but any chicken stock will do. A splash of red wine vinegar, and then a pinch of sugar. These two ingredients are important to balance out the acidity and sweetness of the dish. Now the potatoes and the butter beans. These are gonna be lovely and soft when they're cooked. And lastly, the dried oregano and two bay leaves. Give it a good stir, bring it up to the boil and then drop the heat to medium low. Cover with a lid and cook for about 25 minutes. After 25 minutes, we'll check the sauce for seasoning Add salt, pepper, and sugar to taste. Remove the bay leaves and stalks from the thyme. And there you have it, a delicious, sweet, and tangy stew. The chorizo sausage brings the whole stew to life. And there's plenty to save for later, store in the fridge for a couple days. Serve it up in a bowl, and we traditionally ate this with bread and butter to soak up all those juices. Give this recipe a go, I hope you enjoy it just as much as I did. Please consider subscribing if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. I'll see you soon.